Hello students. Since we have already discussed in chapter 4 quadratic equations, the meaning of quadratic equation, how to check whether the given equation is quadratic or not or how to form the quadratic equation by using the given conditions. We have also discussed how to find out the solution of quadratic equation by factorization and how to find out the solution of quadratic equation by completing the square method. And today we are going to discuss about nature of roots. Now what are the nature of roots of a quadratic equation and how to determine the nature by the discriminant of the equation. Now we already know that the roots of a general quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c equals to 0 are given by the standard quadratic equation formula minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac upon 2a. Now in this formula the key component which is b square minus 4ac in the numerator this is the discriminant of the quadratic equation means what we will write this as d as b square minus 4ac is under square root if it is 0 that is b square minus 4ac is equal to 0 then both the root values are equal means what if we will take root d is equal to 0 then both the root values are equal. Now we, we would say the equation does not have two distinct roots because they are equal so they are not distinct. In this case the single value of two roots is obviously real. Real means they are not imaginary. They can be rational, they can be integers but they are not imaginary. If the discriminant is positive means it is greater than 0 means we will consider root d as greater than 0 or you can say d as greater than 0. So you will get b square minus 4ac is greater than 0. So the result of the square root will be real and we will have both the roots real and distinct. So we can have the roots as real and distinct. When the discriminant is negative, now it is less than 0. So it will become negative. Taking square root of the negative result would lead to imaginary values. Now the roots will not be real, they are imaginary. We would say the quadratic equation does not have any real roots. Now since the roots are imaginary, so you will say that it does not have any real roots. Now let us apply these concepts on a few problems. Example, find whether the roots of the following quadratic equation are real or not. We have a quadratic equation as 3x square minus 4x plus 2 equals to 0. Now we will consider this equation 3x square minus 4x plus 2 equals to 0. First of all write down the value of a, b and c. Here a is what? 3, b is what? minus 4 and c is 2. Now d is what? b square minus 4ac. So b square minus 4ac will give you what? b is minus 4. So minus 4 whole square minus 4 into a. a is 3. So 3. c is 2. So multiply it by 2. After solving you will get minus 8. Now 8 is negative. So it is less than 0. As you can see minus 8 is less than 0. So the equation does not have any real roots because this is negative so roots will be imaginary. So real roots does not exist. Now next 
exercise 4.4 question number 1 find the nature of the roots of the quadratic equation equation is given as 2x square minus 3x plus 5 equals to 0 if the real root exists find them now solution we will consider this equation 2x square minus 3x plus 5 equals to 0 now first step write down the values of a b and c a is coefficient of x square b is coefficient of x and c is constant which is given so comparing the given equation with a x square plus b x plus c equals to 0 we have a as 2 b as minus 3 and c as 5 now find out the value of d d is what b square minus 4 ac so discriminant is b square minus 4 ac substitute the values of a b and c here what will you get minus 3 whole square minus 4 into 2 into 5 so after solving you will get minus 31 which is again a negative so b square minus 4 ac is negative here hence the given quadratic equation has no real roots now next question number 2 find the values of k for the following quadratic equation so that it has two equal roots now it is given that it has two equal roots now two equal roots means what d should be 0 now quadratic equation is 2x square plus kx plus 3 equals to 0 first of all write down the values of a b and c the value of the discriminant is to be 0 for the two roots to be equal that means what we will consider as d is equal to 0 means b square minus 4 ac is equal to 0 now in this case the coefficients are a is 2 b is k and c is 3 now the value of discriminant is what b square minus 4 ac substitute the values of a b and c what will you get you will get k square minus 24 now you have to put the discriminant equals to 0 so you will get an equation as k square minus 24 equals to 0 means what k square is 24 when you will take take out the square root you will get the value of k as plus minus 2 root 6 now next is it possible to design a rectangular park of perimeter 80 meter and area 400 meter square if so find its length and breadth now solution let the breadth of the rectangle be x meter we have taken the breadth of the rectangle as x meter now given perimeter of a rectangle is 80 meter now as you know how you will calculate the perimeter of rectangle by applying the formula 2 into length plus breadth now it is given as 80 meter and we know the breadth is x so 2 bracket length plus x will give you 80 now length plus x is equal to 80 by 2 means what we will get length plus x is equal to 40 so basically length is what 40 minus x meter now area of the rectangle is what area of rectangle is length into breadth you know length is 40 minus x and breadth is x substitute the values you will get a quadratic polynomial which is 40x minus x square now according to the given condition area of the rectangle is given as 400 so we can write this as 40x minus x square is equal to 400 now you can also say that if you will transpose this 400 to the left hand side it will become negative so minus x square plus 40x minus 400 equals to 0 or you can take out negative common so you will get a quadratic equation as x square minus 40x plus 400 equals to 0 now mark this equation as 
1. Now comparing this equation 1 with ax square plus bx plus c equals to 0. Now remember you need to write down the values of a, b and c. So here a is what? 1, b is what? Minus 40 and c is what? 400. Now you have to calculate the value of d. d is what? b square minus 4ac. So this is d. Substitute the value of a, b and c. What will you get? Minus 40 whole square minus 4 into 1 into 400 and after solving you will get this equals to 0. Now thus the equation 1 has two equal and real roots. Since you are getting d is equal to 0 that means what you have the roots as they are equal and real. So, x is equal to what? Minus b by 2a and minus b by 2a. Now, you can substitute the value of b and a. So, you will get minus of minus 40 because b is what? Minus 40 and x here a is what? 1. So, substitute the values. So, you will get x as minus into minus 40 divided by 2 into 1 and minus into minus 40 divided by 2 into 1. So, you will get x as 20, 20. So, breadth is we have taken the breadth as x. So, it is 20 meter and what about length? Length was 40 minus x. Substitute the value of x, you will get 40 minus 20 meter means what? Length is also 20 meter. Now, there are few questions for your homework. First one, find the nature of the roots of the following quadratic equations. If the real roots exit, find them. First one, 3x square minus 4 root 3x plus 4 equals to 0. Second part, 2x square minus 6x plus 3 equals to 0. Second question, is the following situation possible? If so, determine their present ages. The sum of the ages of two friends is 20 years. Four years ago, the product of their ages in years was 48. Now, let us quickly recapitulate what we have studied today. Quadratic formula, the roots of the quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c equals to 0 are given by minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a provided b square minus 4ac is greater than or equal to 0. Second, a quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c equals to 0 has two distinct roots. If b square minus 4ac is greater than 0 means what? d is greater than 0. Two equal roots or you can say coincident roots if b square minus 4ac equals to 0 means what? d is equal to 0 then you have two equal roots. Third, no real roots means roots are imaginary when d is less than 0 means b square minus 4ac is less than 0. I hope you have understood the concept of nature of roots. Thank you.